Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new playlist on my channel and honestly I am super excited about this one and I really believe that this will be the most interesting and practical series that I have worked on so far. This is going to be complete AI agentic course, your step by step guide to building real and working AI agents from scratch. We'll be exploring everything that is needed from Langchain, Langgraph, Databricks, MLflow, and even intricate models from OpenAI, Anthropic, and others to power our agents. And the best part is, we'll be doing all this from a Databricks free edition. So you won't have to spend a single rupee or dollar to follow along. But before diving into the details of what we'll cover, let me quickly show you what you'll be able to build by the end of this playlist. So here is a demo of our agentic app running on Databricks apps. Think of it like a support chat system, similar to what you see on e-commerce or food delivery website, but completely AI driven. So this is where how you'll be using this agent. So I'd like to know like what other different referral policies that exist for this particular system. So you can ask question like this and you can also ask like I want it as a tabular format and it will be able to give you all the refund policies and the description. You can also ask question regarding your orders that I would like to know like where is my order? This is the order ID. So this is where the agents will call different tools and understand what tools to call and it will get the status for that particular order. As you see that it found that this order is in place and the ETA is 25 minutes. In case if you're not happy with this particular order, so you can also cancel the order. Now you see that I have asked to cancel the order. Your agent will call the cancel order function and it have a cancel it and you'll see that you will uh, get it refund of 599 rupees but in case if you're not happy with this particular process you can also say that you, if if you're angry you can also say that okay you are dumb connect me with a real person so the agent will understand your emotions and it will say that okay now i have to escalate this to a human because i'm not able to process this request so it will say that, okay i have escalated your issue to a human support especially it will also create a ticket for you this is how you'll be creating this agent I will, i'll show you step by step for you to reach till this so by the end of this course you'll know how to build a intelligent context aware ai agents like this and deploy them seamless, seamlessly on databricks so this is how the structure of this playlist will look like so i have divided this into five different modules the first module will be on langgraph and you'll also learn something related to langchain also and i have all also covered like what you really need to learn on the langgraph right so there are different uh, section in this first you'll understand why langgraph of agentic ai you'll learn about basics of langgraph then you'll understand how to execute chat models using langgraph and langchain and then you'll learn about calling multiple tools if you remember we had to uh, cancel some orders so we are calling different tools to do it then you'll also understand how to call uc tools from langgraph because in uh, databricks you can define uc function and you can register this as a tool that can be called by the agents then we'll move to knowledge assistant so if you, if you remember we have seen that all the refund policies so this refund policies like the internal documents for the company so this is where you will know how to create rag uh, agents right so you'll understand why knowledge assistant is required how to create embedding how to use vector search tool so in this module you understand everything about rag rag architecture and how to create a very basic uh, rag uh, agent now comes to the ml flow part i think this will be the most interesting part for this playlist while you understand how to integrate ml flow with langram because this is very much required because all your automation all your deployment you'll be able to do M with ml flow so this consists of uh, first we'll introduce you to database agentic framework then we'll understand how to log and register models in uc you'll understand how to deploy models you'll see how to you deploy the models on a model serving endpoint because you'll be calling this model serving endpoint from your chat interface. You'll also uh, see a uh, quick overview of how to use the review app to get the initial feedback for your app. Now goes it goes to end-to-end -end agentic project. This is where we'll, I'll show you step by step on uh, how to create end-to-end -end, uh, agentic project then comes on the evaluation because once you created your agentic solution you should know like how to evaluate that particular model right you like to understand that is it performing well or is it giving you the correct answer so all those things will be seeing this and this is where we'll be using ml4 evaluation framework to evaluate your generative ai application there are a few things that i need from you while you are following this particular playlist first is be curious because this agentic framework or agentic system is new for everyone, right? Everyone is learning new things. 
there are new things that that get added every week so there will be a lot of new things for you so be curious so whenever you suppose you're not getting a particular concept go to chat gpt or go to perplexity and just for search for that particular term and ask chat gpt can you explain me in the details i think this is the best way to learn agenting i'll be telling you a structured way of how you should go about it but always be curious to learn more focus on essentials because uh, i have seen that people spending like 14 hours 16 hours to just learn on lang graph right i don't think that while you start you shouldn't spend a lot of time to completely understand everything about one particular framework or one particular technique so while you start just learn all the essential and start doing the projects and then try to optimize from there right and the third and not the least follow along so i'll be providing all the setup guide all the code uh, materials with you so whenever i am doing so whenever you're seeing the video once the video is done go to databricks environment do it yourself so that you understand what are the errors are coming how to fix it so if you face any issue just comment the issue and i'll be able to help you so i think this is all i have for you i think this will be a very interesting playlist for you so so just stay tuned